Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to show you the printing process. Things you'll need. A block of lino that's already been carved. Your chosen paper to print onto. And some ink. I prefer the Cranfields Calico Safe Wash, but there are many different types and many different price ranges. A cobalt dryer, this is optional. A roller, this is the cheaper version middle of the range as well. You also need a palette knife, a wooden spoon and an optional brayer. You'll also need a piece of glass to mix and roll your inks on. Start off by getting some of your ink out using a palette knife. I've chosen to use my Cranfield Safe Watch in black. out a generous amount of ink. I recover my inks in cling film when I'm using them to stop any air getting to them. Then I use a mechanical pencil to get a couple of drops of the cobalt dryer. Using the palette knife, mix the dryer and your ink together. Take your roller and start rolling it out. You must lift the roller up and put it down at different positions to make sure that you get an even coating of ink. You can now start inking up the block. Make sure you reapply ink as you go. Once your ink is evenly spread, get your paper. I like to line it up at the edge of my table to make sure that it's straight. Smooth it out with your hands and then you can get your brayer if you have one. This one is a bamboo brayer from Jackson's Art Supplies. And just go over it, apply quite firm pressure, just don't go through the paper. Then you want to get your wooden spoon, this is where you can really get the detail to come out. Using the spoon in circular motion to go over the design, you'll start to see that it will come through the paper a bit more. Take your time with this part, it really is the key to getting the solid black print. Now you can peel away the paper from your block. Just do this carefully, sometimes the block can stick to the paper. Just give it a little nudge and it will start to come off. that is the full printing process any other questions please leave them in the comments section and thank you for watching